वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल फ्रॉम शोमोज बायोलॉजी एंड एक्चुअली दिस इज सेल्फ हेल्प वीडियो एंड दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द स्टडी टिप्स फॉर स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू फाइंड डिफिकल्टी ड्यूरिंग अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ टू स्टडी ड्यूरिंग द एग्जाम एंड बिफोर द मंथ ऑफ द एग्जाम ऑफ एवरी सेमेस्टर दिस वीडियो इज जस्ट फॉर यू सो स्टे ट्यून एंड वॉच द वीडियो told you in this video i'm going to tell you the exam tips for studying for students so all of us uh, at some point of our time need to go for the exam an exam is something that we fear all the time regarding what kind of question that they will ask and there is always a time limit you need to finish it on all, all these things so these things are always a matter of fear but it will it won't be any more because the reason behind it because i'm going to tell you some important tips before exam and actually important tips that you can apply while studying for the preparation of any different exam or any difficult exam of your life so what are those now i'm not going to tell you a list of 10 20 different tips like other videos out there i'm going to make it tell really you simple the first of all i divide this idea of exam into two different part like every single exam have this two separate uh, zone you know the first part regarding the preparation is uh the time of your preparation just before the exam that means there is the exam date you know the date and you are preparing before that date that's the actual preparation time let's say every single 6 months semester course you need to do the exam only once right so one exam in 6 months so you have 5 5 months in your hand so in that 5 months that is the study time for you so that is one kind of preparation that i will be talking about the study time and the last month that is the the month of the exam actually the time of the exam that 2 to 3 hours of the exam is the second part now no matter what you do in that last 5 months you will be actually just by that 2 to 3 years of the exam time so you need to do everything right in that 2 to 3 minutes 2 to 3 hours you can do bad things out there in 5 months you you may not read much but if you write well in that 2 to 3 hours you will get good scores that's kind of strange but that's true that's how the education system works so in this two different part that is the preparatory phase the five month and the day of the exam that is the exam day so there are different strategies that you should choose to get a good marks in uh, the exam so the first tip regarding preparing yourself for the exam is during the study period or preparation period so during the preparation period your idea here will be to grasp the concept of all the subjects okay because there will be two types of subjects every time every different subject you read every topic you read there are two types of topics out there one is uh, the conceptual which requires you to understand that concept very well and to understand those concepts you need to rely on teachers diagrams pictures animations for that so teacher will explain it to you that's what you need to do that's what you need to grasp that concept so that you can remember that for a long duration of time that's what you need that the second type of topics which is memory based topics we need to remember those topics for a long time so there is nothing to be explained much nothing to be grasping of concept but name of different different abbreviations okay different nomenclature and stuff like that vocabulary of science all these things you need to mug up you need to put it into your brain which is not very much uh, necessary if you do at the very beginning of your preparation because you, even if you read eventually you'll forget but if you grasp the concepts earlier you're not going to forget it for a long time so at the start point of the preparation 2 3 months 4 months of the phase you only focus on those concepts and grasping up those concepts of every single topics right so another very very good way to remember and keep all this thing in your brain for a long time is explaining a topic or a concept to others right you always find tons of friends who never read anything and only read on the day of or just last night before the exam so those students they are already there your friends they will help you like they will ask you and you gather them and you tell them what you read you know once they will get the benefit you know it's like a story they they you'll hear about it so that's that is you know believe it or not it's even more effective than writing down something once you remember it's always is a big help because in this case you know while you are reading it once and after grasping that concept you trying to explain it to the other people so if if your friends are not willing to to listen then in that case better idea is you you just talk self like in a room 
you have uh, in, a, in, a, in a room you try to explain it to others pretend some some audience out there in front you can pretend a camera as if if it feels boring if it feels like odd to you that speaking on your own there's a camera out there you put the camera and talk to it that will build up your habit you know once you explain it trying to explain it with board and pen and paper you try to realize that the differences you try to realize the the places where you need to work more right that's very very important so whenever you find out that this is the portion that you need to work more you'll work more in that portion that's how you build up your concept more it will flourish that's the best way to build up concept okay so once you build up concept at the very beginning of your preparation of the exam the second part is tip number two so tip number two for studying better studying well during the exam uh, actually the preparation step is at the end of the preparation at the end of the preparation it's time to you know you've grasped the concept now it's time to remember different things, especially subjects like life sciences and other like art subjects. There are many things that you need to remember. Name of a scientist, name of the person that are for legislation and everything. So those things you need to remember. So you, for remembering all these things, the other thing that you can use is charts. You know, tables, charts, diagrams, uh, and a lot of information will be written there. So instead of reading them continuously, what you do, you make a picture of it, you make a chart of it, table of it and you print that and you put it into in front of you you know in front of your desk where you read in in you know in front of your freeze where you can check it every single time you're going to open the refrigerator and stuff like that you can watch it every single time so you can do that literally every single time so that way it will be like a picture it's not like a written thing it will be like a picture and you can mug up that picture in your brain you can learn that picture in your brain it will be printed in your brain continuously that's what you can do uh, in the second phase of your preparation. That's the tip number two, which is going to clear about the idea of memory topics or memory based topics. Because remember one thing, for understanding memory based topics, also use different mnemonics, you know, different weird concepts and, and sentences through which you can remember. Because the idea is you read once, remember for a long time. Now that, both these things are pre the preparation phase. Now it's time for the actual date of the exam. So what will happen to the date of the exam? is ultimately is going to dictate your future so in the day of the exam what you need to do you need to replicate the idea that you have done in the last five months so on the date of the exam and before the date of the exam the last month of the exam the, the month of the exam is the time where you prepare the question answers so you have you have uh, already learned the concepts you already memorized all the topics so now it's time to check your idea by solving pre previous years question papers doesn't matter which exam you are attending always look for previous years papers solve those previous years papers is always give you the benefit whether it's a 10 standard 12 standard bsc msc every single time solve previous years papers which will be exact replica of the paper that you are going to get in the final exam so once you do that it will build up your confidence you know how what kind of ex questions will will come what what angle with which the questions will come so now finally on the day of the exam you're simply replicating what you've done in the last month which is solving the questions so on the day of the exam the the question paper will not look different to you it will look really familiar because you've solved a lot of previous year question papers that's what you need to do you need to build your uh, habit you need to build your study in a way that the exam uh, there's nothing new to you the exam should not surprise you at all because you've solved 50 separate question papers of the last time so now at the day of exam that's one new paper so in that paper somehow you find like one of that 50 and you can answer it quite confidently and quite well so to build up this confidence you always need to solve question papers so these are the three major tips that you always follow in any kind of exam that the preparation phase building up concept explain to other that's the tip number one for better studying before the exam tip number two for good study before the exam will be uh, remembering the memory based concepts with pictures tables and diagrams and the third thing is solving question paper just before the exam and fourth thing during the exam do the replica of the same thing so these are the four important tips we have better exam tips to study better just before the exam so stay tuned and watch other videos to get the benefit if you like this video please help the video by sharing it uh, to your friends and subscribe to my channel uh, to get more and more videos like that Thank you.